So for the benefit of the brand new people in the room, I'd like to give a quick flyby to set the scene, if you like, for our two days. Here's a, an opportunity for us to be in business for ourselves, literally our own boss, but not be by ourselves. For me, that's one of the, the really positive things about Forever, that you can join us for minimal investment, get a few products around you, and have an opportunity to create wealth for yourself, to experience personal development as you grow in encouraging people to join your team. And when you look around our room today, which is larger than a lot of the rooms that we have, but nevertheless typical in terms of our audience, there's no stereotypical background that our FBOs come from, our forever business owners come from. We literally have people from all backgrounds, all walks of life. We recognize across our stage people from the age of 18, which is the youngest that you can be to be a forever business owner, through to people in their later years. I think from memory, the oldest person I've recognized on stage at a success day was 93 years of age. Became a forever business owner at 91 and a half. <laughs> His name was Morris and he said to me, if ever you retell my story, and I have about 10,000 times, always remember the half because when you get to 91, it's awfully important. <laughs> so there you go. So I'm not sharing that story with you so you can hassle the old age pensioners in Birmingham tomorrow, but to share with you, there's no stereotypical background that we come from. And that's really inspirational, I hope, for those of you who've never been in business for themselves before, never been involved in our type of organization before, have no knowledge of our industry. When you look at the people coming across the stage today, I think you will find, and certainly when you listen to their stories, we are more alike than different. So if they can do it, why can't you do it? It's a remarkable opportunity for us to make a positive impact on our families' lives and the families of our friends. We're a global organization. Just three weeks ago, we celebrated our 38th birthday. Yeah, 38 years of helping people around the world earn extra money for themselves and lead a healthier lifestyle. Our founder is on the screen at the moment, Rex Morn, and for me, when we go to the international events, it's always a great opportunity to be able to spend a little bit of time with Rex, and those of you that were there would have also seen him on stage sharing his wisdom. A man with a great deal of vision who, just over 38 years ago, decided he wanted to be an entrepreneur too, quit his corporate job, started forever living literally from his home, and from those small, humble beginnings, we now operate in over 150 countries around the world. And the significance of that, for those of you looking at the business, is that you could develop teams or businesses in any one of those 150 countries. And very many people in our room today are already starting to do that. Our observation as a head office team is that People seem to build their international businesses faster now than ever before, and I think that's because of the very many platforms that we have available, like Skype and so forth, Facebook, that you can communicate and connect with people around the planet. So not just a local opportunity, it can be, if that's all that you want it to be. You know, it might be that you're here today or looking at our business because you want to create an extra two or three hundred pound extra money each month. You could do that on a very local basis. But it might be that over time you have national or international aspirations and you can fulfill those two in exactly the same way. We're cash rich, we're debt free. These should be significant points for you if you're looking at getting involved with us. The fact that we've been successful for a long time, that we're well funded, we're not owned by a bank or financial institution. We're still a family business, and I love that, with family values. We have a huge asset base, over $1.5 billion worth of assets, much of which is prime property. And of course, we're very privileged in the UK to have a really beautiful head office about 20 minutes down the road here in Warwick, a grade two listed manor house that we operate from, which as with all of our offices around the world, very much has an open door policy. So if ever you're passing that way, call in. We have hundreds, literally hundreds of business owners visit us every week to use the training rooms, to meet the staff, to bring guests and team members to. In fact, uh, yesterday we had two sessions running, one after the other, of leaders that were coming with guests and with new people to, uh, to be with us. And uh, one of those groups I'd like to just say a quick hi to now because they're 
In particular, one lady, somebody that we've now worked with for over 10 years, who's our area manager in this tiny, tiny little island called Iceland. Where's the Icelanders today? Where are you? There you are, guys. Nice to have you with us. Let's hear it from the Icelanders. Thank goodness they didn't bring any Icelandic weather with them. What do you think? Now, it was great to see them yesterday. And for me, you know, Iceland has been a, a big inspiration for me because um, it's really given me an insight into the untapped potential of the UK business. And that's also a significant point that I'd like to make to the new people in the room today. If you come into a room of four or 5,000 people, you could be forgiven for thinking you missed the boat. You should have been with us a few years ago when we got started. I can promise you, if you see the amount of product that we sell in Iceland, which is a tiny, tiny population of just 300,000 people, you will see that we haven't scratched the surface yet here in the UK where we have over 60 million people. So wherever you live around the UK, I can promise you there is an opportunity for you to build a massive business just on your doorstep because I would guess that most of you in this room are living in a town or city that's got more people living in it than the whole of the Icelandic population. So get excited by that. $2.6 billion worth of global sales. We grew by 10% around the world last year. It was one of our most successful years. 10% on $2.6 billion is a lot of um, extra turnover. It was our most profitable year also. So um, forever's in great financial shape. And uh, here in the UK, in excess of £135 million pounds worth of products at retail values was what we sold last year. So we're on the map, but we've got lots and lots of work to do, and there's massive untapped potential for each and every one of us. The most important thing I think about, particularly the UK business, is the consistency of our growth over the years. We've been trading since 93, and every single year since 93, we've increased our turnover. In the last two or three years, we've seen significant growth, over 72% growth in 2015, which if I'm honest, operationally was you know, challenging to grow by 40 or 50 million pounds when your average order value is about 140 pounds. That's a lot of extra boxes that were packed in our distribution center in Leamington Spa. Our staff just a few years ago was probably about 70. We now employ 170. So the resource that's been needed to put in place behind the scenes to manage with the growth last year was uh, absolutely significant. And I believe that we'll continue to grow significantly over the next few years because we're riding some really powerful trends. And one of the trends, in fact, isn't really identified on this screen, is a younger age group of business owner that's coming into Forever, Eight, Forever Living. We call them Generation Y, I think. And as a result of Gen Y and as a result of some of the social media platforms, our growth is accelerating. And if you couple that with the marketplace that exists for our products, you've got several powerful drivers to your forever business. As you know, around Europe, we have an aging population, but it's a population that are increasingly prepared to spend money on themselves to stay fitter or healthier. And that's very much the marketplace that we're in. Every year, we invest or reinvest millions of dollars of our profits into research and development and the development of new products. We launched some new products in Johannesburg, and I'm pleased to tell you that most of them are on their way to us now. We have the aloe shave in, we'll have the juice shortly, we've got the travel kits coming. So new products that can help us open more doors for more customers and help our existing customers experience more benefit from our product range. So it's huge potential for our type of product in this type of marketplace. And if you do just a little bit of research or look at some of our platforms like Forever Knowledge, you'll see that there are billions, and I mean billions of pounds and euros spent on our type of product already. So when we become a Forever business owner, it's about becoming a product of the product ourselves so that we feel confident in the product range that we're marketing and then just sharing our personal experiences 
with the people around us because the people around us are already using our type of product and it's now just a question of sharing the benefits of our brand compared to the one that they're using. A great many people become forever business owners having first had a positive experience with our product. That gives them a really strong emotional attachment to the product, which is again a significant factor that'll help you develop a business. Who in the room was a customer before they were a business owner? Okay, have a quicker look around if you're in the room for the first time. You probably see at least a third of the room had a positive benefit from the product and that encouraged them to become a business owner. They become a walking advert for the business. Thank you for that. So a little insight into some of the fastest growing products. We started our business around the aloe vera plants. We then became the world's biggest producer of products from the beehive. Our fastest growing markets are in sport nutrition and in weight loss. The next serious growth area is our distribution method. There is a recognition, I believe, and I've seen it first hand over the last few years with the very many guests that I'm introduced to at Longbridge Manor. There's a recognition, I think, that the only way to have a more secure future financially is to be more in control of that future. Would that be fair? And so more people now seeing that being in business for themselves, but particularly in a business where there's very little, if any, downside risk, it's really just an investment of my time, that's a very exciting way to get more control over anybody's financial future. So we're seeing people from all backgrounds, all walks of life, most definitely experiencing that. People who are fed up with a rat race, people who are fed up with perhaps not getting the recognition that they think they deserve, either by way of a pat on the back from their boss, or better still, a nice salary increase at the end of the year. People recognizing that the days of the job for life have passed a long time ago. And that gives people a, a great deal of insecurity. It's worrying if you think you're not going to be able to provide for your family. And so our method of distribution, which is through independent business owners, people who are in business for themselves, working under our umbrella, is a method of doing business now and a way of life that very many people are looking at and getting started with. And that's reflected in the close to 40,000 people that joined Forever Living during 2015. It's a business without borders. It's flexible, both in terms of where we work and when we work. Very many people are encouraged to join our business because it gives them chance to spend some time with their family at the same time as making a significant contribution to the family budget. It's a really exciting place to be. It's great to be I think, in a room of like-minded people, would you not agree? With smiley faces. I've concluded, however, that not everybody wants a smiley face because um, a few months ago as I was walking down the corridor of Long Longbridge Manor, um, uh, an FBO had got a guest with them. They introduced me to the guest. We had a little chat. The guest went in to see the presentation about the business. I happened to bump into the same FBO a couple of days later in Longbridge Manor, inquired about his guest, seemed a really positive guy. Did he get started? He said, no, no, he decided not to join us. I said, uh, why was that? He said, well, he said he commented that everybody looked far too happy. <laughs> so not everybody wants a smiley face, but I can promise you there are enough people out there who do want smiley faces. We recognize that we can only continue to be successful if we're able to support, help, train, coach, inspire people from all backgrounds. And that comes from many directions, of course. When you join Forever, you've been encouraged to join Forever by somebody you call your sponsor, who in turn had a sponsor. And so you have an upline who were there to encourage, support, and train you. And we have some amazing leaders who absolutely understand our business 100%. So somebody in your upline there is skilled in helping you get your business started, in helping you achieve your goals, and probably in helping you see past your existing goals. Very many people join for just a few pounds and then recognize, okay, if I could get 500, maybe I could get 1,000. If I can get 1,000, maybe I can get 2,000. So we develop our business as our belief and our confidence grows. 
We have events like this that take place, in the case of the UK, four times a year now. We're running a weekend like this that you can come to to get training and get inspired. And I can promise you over the next two days, as we're launching what we call our First Steps to Manager program, you're going to hear from people who have walked the walk before you, share with you the knowledge and the skills that you need in order to be successful, whatever that means to you. We have meetings running all around the country that you can take guests to, to give them an insight into our opportunity, all paid for by forever. Our staff at head office are investor in people certified. We've been part of the IIP certification now for, I think, 13 or 14 years, and we hold the gold standard. So we believe in investing in our staff as well as investing in uh, a platform for our FBOs. We're active members. I've sat on the board of the Direct Selling Association now for about 15 years as vice chair in the last few years. We're active member of the Direct Selling Association, and that means that we have signed up to a very strict code of business conduct and customer conduct, something that we're more than happy to do. You know, we give a 60-day money-back guarantee on all of our products to our customers. We have a buy-back guarantee for anybody who joins our business and decides it's not for them. So we've made this a really professional organization and an organization that you can be proud of and comfortable with that always has your best interests at heart. Let me introduce you to some of the guys that help support us with that training and that inspiration. The first group, you're going to hear from one of them today on the, on the stage and I think uh, a second one later on during the day. But from the far left there, we have Dr. Peter Atherton as one of our advisory board members, a doctor for very many years, has helped us in the research development product formulation stages, has helped educate us on how powerful natural health products can be, how powerful aloe vera can be in helping us maintain um, great health. Is Peter in the room today? Are you in the room today, Peter? Give him a round of applause anyway. I don't think I'd be able to spot him in this group. But Next up, we have our resident vet, David Urch. And David will be doing a training session right after the main sessions here today. Again, a wealth of knowledge, of course, in the animal world as a vet, but more importantly, in the use of natural products in the maintenance of great health for animals. And we have probably across the UK and Ireland the biggest um, animal markets in terms of forever living anywhere in the world, particularly amongst horses. And so horses, cats, dogs in particular. David's helped us educate on how we can look after our animals in a better way. So David, wherever you are, give us a wave and uh, the impossible. Ah, there you are. Thank you, David. Look forward to your training session later on. Next, we have Dawn. You're going to hear from Dawn uh, later on today. She talks about our new products. Over 20 years in the beauty industry before she became a forever business owner. A wealth of knowledge on skin care, on cosmetics, and in particular on nutritional supplements. So let's hear it for Dawn, wherever she is in the room. Dawn, where are you? There she is. Thank you, Dawn. Look forward to hearing from you later on as well. It's dead hard to spot people from up here. There's so many of you. The last one but not least is Louise Riley, who, again, a very experienced FBO, um, has become our um, expert in the field of uh, sport nutrition. She's doing a lot with the C9, the Fit1, Fit2, the Fit program, and she's also our flawless colour cosmetic specialist. So, Louise, thank you for the great job that you do, wherever you are. Yeah, there you are. Thank you, guys. So you get to meet the advisory board during the day as well. Our next group of uh, people to introduce you to are the team that were on here earlier on today, our UK global leadership team. This team are also part of the worldwide global leadership team. So that means that they've done at least 7,500 case credits through their team during the course of the year. And I was, again, really, really proud in Johannesburg because a very big percentage of the, of the global leadership team are actually from the UK. Some are at 7,500, some are at 12,500 and beyond, but they've all contributed massively to our success. So once again, let's hear it for our global leadership team, our UK GLT. 
in some parts of the country we have leadership teams that work with us and uh, I was down in Tunbridge Wells earlier on this week working with a group of our leaders there so if you're part of our leadership teams around the country thank you for the contribution that you make to us and uh, the great guidance that you give us in what we can do to support your areas better and then in other parts of the country we've actually got ADDs, Area Development Directors, so they're tasked with hosting or looking after you in that area with opportunity meetings, with trainings, with master classes, uh, giving a, an environment of support which very often also includes social events. In fact, yesterday at Longridge Manor we were putting a massive, well not personally but I did help lift it a bit, the massive marquee up on the lawn and we've got a, a social event on Wednesday which is part of the, the Midlands group there. So let's hear it for our ADDs if they could stand. Thank you for the great job that you guys do. least our forever VIPs and you can become a VIP by being part of our um, chairman's bonus group or part of our eagle group and uh, this is now a huge group when we first created the VIP group I think there was something like 50 or 60 ID numbers on there uh, we've got a VIP four-day event coming up in July and we now have over 500 people as part of the VIP group and that really is a reflection of the great success that you guys have enjoyed in becoming Eagle managers or becoming part of the Chairman's Bonus Program. You're going to see some of the Chairman's Bonus, well, all of the Chairman's Bonus guys come across the stage later on. In Johannesburg, we had double the number of checks this year that we had the year before, so nearly 200 checks between the UK and Ireland out of the 900 checks that we gave out over the weekend came back to the UK. So if you're a forever VIP, please stand. We'd like to recognise you. Thank you for the great job you did. I hope that you're going to be able to join us at one of the four days in July. We've got a great agenda uh, set out and uh, also an opportunity for us to get more feedback from you about what we could do better. And that very much is, the, for me, the, uh, one of the major differences between Forever Living and, and other organisations that I see in our association. This close relationship that we have, this working partnership that we have between the, the head office team and uh, you guys who are out there building forever businesses. And it's uh, really, really beneficial, I believe, for those of you who are just getting started because it means that you can learn from not just your upline but a broader group of experience that have come together to help us put the training packages in place. And uh, that means you've got a blueprint to run on. And that's why we see people, I believe, building businesses faster than we've ever seen before. In fact, some of our GLT have only been with us for a few short years. You're going to hear from some of them later on as they share the story around their chairman's bonus check. But I know that for very many of them, they could not have imagined just a few years ago the difference that becoming involved with Forever and working hard for a few short years could make to their lifestyle. And that's, for me, the most rewarding thing about my job is that I get to hear lots and lots of your sometimes really touching, actually, really moving success stories. You share with me how you've overcome particular challenges. You share with me what inspires you every day. A couple of three weeks ago, we were in Scotland for the success day there. Anybody from Scotland in the room today? You noisy little group over there. Thank you for making us welcome two or three weeks ago. But there was a lady on stage there who said, for me, this was a moving story. She said, she said the, the reason that I do this business, she said, is I've got a young family and my husband works offshore in the oil industry, which I think a lot of people in the north of Scotland do, she said, and we never see him, she said, so my goal is to, to build a business so that he doesn't have to work offshore anymore and we can just be all together as a family. And I said, you know, one of thousands of stories I could tell you about how forever is positively impacting on, on people's lives. So this is a business that I believe is absolutely in the right place at the right time. And whilst when I talk to guests, it doesn't always fit the box, perhaps of what they've been used to in the past, I ask always of them to try and see past that. 
This is a business model that I believe is in the right place at the right time for the times that we find ourselves in. A changing world where employment is not as guaranteed as it used to be, where we don't always get the recognition and rewards that perhaps we should have for the very long hours that we put in. You know, there are very many people that are working a 40-plus year plan. In fact, over the last 10 or 15 years, we've seen retirement ages extend. And very often when you're in particularly retail places, now you see people in their older years still working. Now, sometimes they're working voluntarily because they want to occupy their time and have something meaningful to do, but often they're working because they can't afford to live on their pension, having worked hard for somebody for 40 years. And we're saying that our box, whilst it may not be what you were used to, can provide you with an opportunity as long as you work hard to change your life in a relatively few short years. But more importantly than that, you can't become successful in forever if you haven't positively influenced lots and lots of other people along the way. And that's the most significant thing about our business. The people that we recognize today at the very top of the forever organization in the UK literally have touched the lives of thousands, if not tens of thousands of people in a positive, inspirational way over the years that they've been with us. So if you're here for the first time, I hope that you have a fantastic weekend with us. I would encourage you strongly to make as many notes as you can through the formal training sessions because there'll be some real pearls of wisdom, some little gems. And you know, sometimes, if you've been with us for a while, for example, sometimes it's just a small change in what you're doing every day in your mindset or the amount of things that you're doing or the way that you're doing things that can make a real big, big difference to your business over the next few years. So once again, if you're here for the first time, thank you for being with us this weekend. I really, really appreciate you giving up your time to be with us. Mm -hmm.